everyone, welcome to Toy Break episode 208. I'm making an 8, but you can't really see it. Uh, Toy Break, I'm Aileen. <laughs> I'm George. Derek. And I'm still Ben. This is an amazing opening. Probably awesome. our best yet. Oh yeah. Good job. This 200. is not, we're not filming this later at all. 208. <laughs> Completely awake, not at all tired. We are so, so got it down. Yep. Derek. Welcome to the couch. Thank you. Hey, hey. it's good to be here. It's first timer. First... We got a first timer yeah. here. I'm a newbie. Virgin. Uh, so you dress to match the couch. This is good. Yeah, I'm trying to blend in. I like that. You're like a, <laughs> like a chameleon. Gosh. Not that you could see the couch with all yep. of us on it. Correct. Right. But still, he matches. <laughs> why are you here? What do you do? I don't know why I'm here. Hmm. No idea. Why am I here? Uh, you have experience. You've worked in the toy industry oh, yeah, for like yeah, a, a minute. I've known George for. A minute. Decades. <laughs> Decades. A minute. 40, 50 years. Time before time. You know. <laughs> so uh, you've worked with a lot of major companies. You've brought a lot of lines to market. Several lines. Pretty much if Can you drop a couple names of just past projects just you've just worked on? Well, Small. Worked on Star Wars, <gasps> Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter. Wow. You name it, we've done work on it. So. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Only George, like, you know, can you join me on this? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, George. George is like, eh, whatever. Well, anyway, yeah. welcome to the couch. Thank you. Thank you for bringing your expertise and your friendship. Friendship, too. Love. I didn't know that I was supposed to bring that. Oh, it's pretend for the audience. Oh, okay. We can just pretend like we like each other. It's good to see you. So if you're new, you may not know that Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys. We bring you news and reviews about things like designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, uh, events, how-tos, interviews, random toy people like Derek. (laughs) I just feel the love. (laughs) Can you feel it? Oh my! Aren't you glad you're here, Derek? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going. I don't know really why good. I'm in the middle. It's going great. Do you so want far. to direct? You can direct the show. If you no, want. go by all means. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, so let's start out as we always do by thanking our sponsors like Dragatomi, Tenacious Toys, Fuzzy Balls Apparel, ESC Toy, ESC Toy, More Art Than Toy, Ching. Superpower Collectibles, DKE Toys, Three Doctor Etro, <gasps> Paysaver, Grumpy Bert, Happy Panda Toys. Art Attack Toys. Yay! For all of our sponsors. We love them. We hope you love them. Go to Toy Break. Learn to love them. Mm. Or not. (laughs) Gold Gipper Contest. Brought to you by 3D Retro. Uh, To enter, head over to the contest section on the forum and post your favorite thing from the 80s. The deadline is March 21st. This guy. Derek's your favorite thing from the 80s? <laughs> no. This, this, I'm not oh. from the 80s. <laughs> I couldn't see what from the angle I'm at. It looked, right it looked like you were talking to Derek. There's so many hands moving and faces. Mm-hmm. And... Okay, so we have a weird thing going on with the show this week. It's Usually, improv. It's a little it's improv. improv. It's a little improv because what happened is Ben's in charge of it right now. Which means it's going down fast. <laughs> Rocket ship. <laughs> Here we go. You should everybody. probably just turn it off right now. <laughs> no news, because uh, we're we're at WonderCon right it's now. It's Ben Break. It, oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shut it off while you still can. Run! <laughs> All right. So first thing is, if he bites you, you become a Ben. <laughs> should I go right now? <laughs> just leave. <laughs> no, this is exciting, fun stuff. Yeah. Because I'm a blocker for you. Yes. Okay. I just have to outrun you. <laughs> well, before we get into this stuff, Derek, do you have a website or anything? Do you, do yeah, you do I've got nothing. Do you do Face- a Facebook, I don't, I Facebook don't. Twitter, nothing? Do no. You a nothing. blog? Do you want people do to find you? Do you put your you? own work out there at all? Ever? I don't do much of my own work. You play with Lego. stuff so. for other people. Yeah, but I don't even get a chance to do that much. Aww. I'm hoping to, though. I'm hoping to branch out into that again. Okay. Right. So, well, I was just trying Give to see if I promote you at put all. Put me on the spot like that. Jeez. Are you single? Ladies? Huh? Ladies, huh? Huh? gentlemen. All right. How about you pull out some stuff? All right. Whoa! But not. So apparently, gentlemen. Okay, cut that. <laughs> it's blind box time, is what he meant to say. Yes. That's not better. <laughs> Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time. <laughs> pull out your blind box.
blind box? Pull out that blind box. Ben, um, yeah. lead the path here. Blind bat, blind box. Are we start? We're starting with blind box. Yes. Uh, so these are actually items we discussed at Last on week. previous show. We did. And um, I. What are they? They're uh, Star Wars fighter pods. Hasbro squinkies. No, they're fighter they're pods. Not oh. <laughs> Two per pack. They're completely different. They sell for about three dollars at Target. No balls involved whatsoever. Which is no. where I got them. And I only have three, so I'm gonna let you guys. Actually, oh, I was I'm, gonna let you guys. I'm stuck over here with only one arm you available, so you guys three, three, three open. Just what, open. Them. What are you doing with that arm? Uh, it's holding me up over oh. here. All right, but if any of us get a Porkins, we'll get we're giving it to you. Are there two in here or one in here? There's supposed to be two in here. Oh, I want there to be two balls. But one ball. There's not. <laughs> No. Uh, Easy tear. Easy Wait, tear. what do you want? You wanted a Porkins? Oh, Porkins. Yeah. Too late. I, I was are... actually opening when you guys were talking Disgusting. about what you're going to do. Maybe another Yoda? Sure, Yoda? why not? More another Yoda. Here you go. Mm, no. <laughs> well, not I don't know. Any Porkins? And a clone trooper. No well. Porkins. Let's see that Yoda. Is it Commander, Commander Rex? He's not Commander anything. He's no, just he's white not. clone trooper. He just bent wow. a whole bunch Yoda? of white right there. Yoda? I there, just, you've got an army now. There you I go. Just failed. More white. Wow. I just failed at my blind box. Actually, I like the old stormtrooper. I got storm old trooper. stormtrooper, clone trooper. The stormtrooper's kind of cool. Yeah, right? And I had donated another set of troopers. So, pretty straightforward. These are the same things that uh, we end? talked about on the show last week. Except... Oh, so you never go... These are the two packs. <laughs> and you never go fast to mouth. <laughs> or you do. Way to kill that conversation. What? Oh, you can totally put two in there. I bet if I had a little one like Yoda, I could put him in here too. <laughs> there you have it. Three dollars. Toys R Us. Target. What do you guys think of these? Um, I love the collectible aspect, and I love that they're tiny because they're cute, and I can put them on my desk. They are better than Squinkies. Yeah, they are. Because they are more solid, and um, the paint is better. And yeah, they're. The proportions are better, too. Bless you. you. Thank you. They're just more of a fun sculpt. Yeah. Yeah. They are. So I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, are they worth $3 for a two-pack? Comes out of about buck fifty each. I don't think they are, because that big pack we opened last week was $20, and you get 16 figures. I bet if they got rid of so these... you're better off getting two, big packs rather than vehicles. getting bond packs. Yeah. And they also have, like, a four-pack and a ten-pack. And But I bet you if they got rid of these... And just sold these, like in two packs, they'd be able to sell them for like a buck fifty, just like the Squinkies. Oh yeah, because you're like, I don't care about that plastic. Thing. Yeah, but I mean, the Squinkies come with the plastic ball too. I have a Star yeah. Wars yeah, orgy in here right now. Yeah, Star I Wars don't orgy with three you, characters. Whoa, what? come on. So, no real news. No. Let's just go straight to reviews. First up. Aileen, I'm going to let you take care of this one since you are the Doctor Who. Vian. Yes. I'm a Whovian. You're a Whovian. Do you watch who? Doctor Who? I do not. <gasps> mm. Am I kicked off the couch now? No. Okay. I don't watch it either. But you guys should, you should watch Doctor Who. stay on the couch who. and watch Doctor Who with us. What? Uh, there's a really funny thing about that in uh, Portlandia. You guys should be watching that too. Uh, so Are you I... just going to give me a list of all the things I should yes. be watching? Yes. Okay. Like a lot. You told me stuff to watch. Yeah. So, yes. It's, this is crappy packaging that is There's already broken. <laughs> That's not a knife. Sorry, Nathan, that was a terrible Aussie impression. Ooh. So what is it? It looks like a pocket watch. Here's this. It is a pocket watch! Boop, boom. I don't remember the name of the episode, but it's a really great episode because, one, it's got David Tennant in it. Two, he forgot who he was. And uh, what made it not so great is that Martha was his companion at the time. So, look at this giant oversized Ooh. stop watch, pocket watch. Sorry, pocket watch. Kind of weird because it looks like it should be metal. Mm -hmm. It looks like plastic. It is plastic. But I mean, like, the really... idea is... Don't you push this thing to open? Yeah. Oh. The idea oh. being that it should be metal. It's a real watch. Right. It's like it actually tells time. Are you serious, Ben? I th well, I thought maybe it's just like a little, it a little toy. Working watch. With speech, light, and sound effects. Speech? Uh, it says, I'm not just a time lord. That's the sound of... It 
It's got a really crappy voice chip really of David Tennant voice. from Where's that episode. Speaker? Is that probably that? that yeah. I There's can see it in there. Picture of the inside of the car in awesome. the baggage. Time adjusting knob. Okay, so pretty much a, a normal. Does it do another sound? I'm guessing just that sound. So it's a really like grainy it. audio. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Ooh. It's weird though, because look at the back. Like it's supposed to look like a metal thing, but it's got all the plastic parts yeah. of like a toy, and you're yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, I like how they have the wash on the do not recycle. It's <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Ah, it's my finger. Ah. Well, real chain. that's a real watch. Chain. Yeah, the chain's I nice. need you to sign a, a release about if you get hurt on Toy Break, by the way. <laughs> I haven't done that yet, so. <laughs> sign a release or get hurt on Toy Break. Either, yeah. <laughs> Give us a minute. The kidney punches are about to start. Oh, great. <laughs> Fun times ahead. It would be cool if this was an actual watch. Yeah. It is. Like No, like an actual metal. like. Oh. Not this weirdly, slightly oversized plastic thing. How much does that go for? Comical. Do we know? Yeah, Ben. Um... Anywhere between twenty and thirty, depending on the retailer. Okay. So, yeah, not I that expensive. I don't think I'd necessarily buy that. It's an interesting piece, but the the voice if chip is terrible. If it was metal, I'd be sold. Did yeah. you hear? If it was metal, I'd pay sixty bucks for it. Yeah. Let's just mm -hmm. listen to this made by the same company, voice chip. Mm -hmm. You would make a good Dalek. Perfect. Can't make out what he just said. That is perfect. <laughs> Why is that one crappy? I know, different factory. It's also placement of the chip. Placement of the chip. Audio quality of the original yeah. clip. Yeah. It's a lot of factors. What else you got? Well, let's let's go with something that works a little bit easier and still Doctor Who related. A Doctor Who pen. But it looks just like a sonic screwdriver. It's funny because you're not a Who fan, but like you know all about this stuff because you keep buying me like sonic screwdrivers and yeah. stuff. Hey, it's pretty fun. Oh, Ooh, right. So what's the story behind, looks behind the sonic screwdriver? Cool. What does it do? Um, so it does everything that the doctor needs it to do except open deadlocks. Mm. It cannot open deadlocks. It also functions as a regular screwdriver, which mm. is very, very Andy. important sometimes. Mm. But basically, like, he can, like, aim it at locks on doors or safes or anything, and it's like, boop, opens, unless it's deadlocked, which very rarely happens. Or if he needs to know what something's made out of. He's, it's basically oh, yeah. just the magic wand where he's like, okay. oh, it's this. Or he's like, like he oh, knows. you have this disease. Oh, I can cure that, or whatever. It's the, it's the everything that they need it to be. Okay. Basically every episode it has a new function. Doctor Who is new... basically like the perfect story because <laughs> anytime the Doctor gets too old or they need to just get a new actor, they're like, it's just regenerated it's just and he's a new guy. Or And then he has this magic machine that's like, I could do anything with this. You need a sonic screwdriver to get your sonic screwdriver yes. out. Yes. <laughs> it's too bad it? we don't have those toy break scissors handy. It's not scissors that I need. What is it, like glued Strength. in? Strength. Strength if she needs. Strength of defeat. Oh, these are we imported. We need feet of strength. Ha ha. Strength of feet. Strength of Hurry, feet. Hurry, what movie is that from? Oh. Boom. You got it. Is it metal or is it See, plastic? See, you think about Mel Brooks and you, you, you get stuff. It's plastic. See, I thought it looked like it was metal. It, it be feels kind of like cold metal-ish, but does it pop open? Twisty. Twisty. I think as, if, when you start going to metal. Really cheap. Is this you, open? Like oh, and <laughs> now it does. And now it's broken. <laughs> Good work, George. Why are there two pens? <laughs> I didn't even that touch it. George, how'd you break it? What, Ten seconds. <laughs> That's why I can't have nice things. Here, you can play with that. Derek, you broke it. Oh, uh, <laughs> does it write? Yeah, does it actually like? Still works. Oh, can you change color? Yeah, that's what you were doing when you were switching it around. As I write <laughs> Here, through it. Here, there's something to write on. All right, we got black. Uh huh. What's the other color? Black. More black. Green. green. Ooh. Black and green. Black and green. Interesting. Well, so maybe green because of the bitty. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Does this thing open? No. It's just a decorative pen. Well, that <laughs> one does, but it's, I think it's not supposed to. Why are you it. trying to break it? You're like, are you being the me this time? Yes. I'm you always tell me you. not to break everything, and now you're sitting here breaking All right. Everything. We got a, a dual colored pen. It does this. There you go. These are. In England, they like dual colored. They're pretty inexpensive. Pens. So like you metalizing device. Yeah. With copper. <laughs> it's shiny. Enough what with the Doctor got? Who. Anyway, I thought I'd Good bring in day, some sir. some new kind of toys. We haven't really discussed these guys. There's a company called Are they for adults? They are. 
They are actually, well, not those kind of adult toys. I like to try to make them blush. <laughs> it's a company it's called working. Blamo. You guys have probably I heard, have of, heard them. of them. And they actually make really cool have you toys. Heard of them? I have. I've bought a few at their last Excellent show. Packaging. At the Toy Excellent. Art Gallery. Oh, that's heavy. Grab that. I'll grab this. Would you like to feel this bag? No. You don't so, want to feel the sack? Are you just out this episode? What's going on? I'm watching. Okay. So some original okay. packaging, you know. Um, a lot of these are handmade, so they do cost a little bit. And they're they're not made out of, like, vinyl or plastic. They're made out of all kinds of different natural materials. Mm. Isn't Feel that? this. Yeah, that's cool. I think that one's called the Spirit Baby. That's cool. But you can see, like, the wings and the head are made oh, out of metal. Yeah, like... So somebody can actually see it. And it's got a zipper on the back. Yeah, I think that's where the beans go. Oh, look at the bee. Oh, it's rice. It's rice. Okay. Oh, that's I what it's called. Know. Rice baby or something like that. Look at him. So that's one. Oh, what's this one? Look at the tail. Let's open that one here, George. The tail is filled oh, with rice. This one. Yeah, it's oh. multiple pieces. There's a little something or other in there. Oh, that's a stereo. Huh? I will be your table. The wood boom box. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like a little rocker dude. Wow. Oh, look at his little black butt. This one is called Hip Hop Billy. I would assume. By Blamo and Spencer Hansen. I think he designs them. Hmm. And all of these are pretty limited in their run. Mmm, smells like good leather. And are just really different, but really fun. And these are all from the same show? Yeah, these were all from the same show. This was a show that they recently did at Tag. And then this one's kind of fun, cool. too. It mixes... So that's like leather and wood. And this one mixes metal and wood. Ooh, pretty. And I think this one's called Nimbus God or something like that. Nimbus, because the cloud. I like the stance in this one with like one ear curled, one ear straight. Mm -hmm. He's walking. You know, it's not all symmetrical. You can walk with the cloud. I appreciate the craftsmanship of these. About that? I mean, I know you prefer and... sports action figures, but... Wrestlers is all he likes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's light. But, you know, these are some interesting art toys to get you out of your... We're trying to break you out of your niche. Yeah. No, I like these. These are cool. <laughs> Something different. I'm kidding. He likes art toys. <laughs> Does it this say is... what kind of wood this is? Um, It doesn't. Morning? Whoa. <laughs> Um, it's going to be one of those shows, isn't but it? Yeah it's, yeah, it's really light. Yeah, it's just like that all the time. <laughs> Look how the little teak. pieces um, The cool thing about these guys teak, is... What movie is that from? James Woods, anybody? No. Oh, my. Um, I can't stop. They're actually getting a lot of popularity, the Blamo toys. Kid Robot started to carry them. And um, the thing is, is like even though a lot of people are starting to carry more and more of them, they're still very limited. And um, the price kind of reflects that, too. How I much have, are these sort of things? They range anywhere between, like, $120 to, like, a small Amazing. figure like this mm -hmm. to something like, you know, 220 or $250 for something that's leather and bigger and metal components to it. Because cow skin costs more? Yes. I think. So how no. many of, say, this style would they make? I think they would make like maybe 20 or 40 of those. That's pretty darn limited. But, uh, each one looks I'm from Wisconsin. similar, but they're all hand carved, so they don't look exactly the same. Right? Exactly. There's, some regularity, yeah. There's, yeah. there's little differences. So it's really oh, cool. Yeah. And like I said, they're Goodness. gaining popularity. And the price for these guys have just been going up and up and up as oh. it becomes more and more popular. So this is my favorite. Do you have a favorite, Ben? That one is my favorite. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, I think that one's my favorite. Yeah. This one's everybody's. So he's so heavy. But, I mean, something about him, he's just really fun to play with. Like, it, he could, he's one of those guys that sits on your desk and you just kind of, like, pick him up and... Yeah, it's it's really check fun. Check him out every now and then. It's cool because his tail is longer than his feet, which you never really see that. 
It's it's cool. It's a fun little you know yeah. characteristic. And, and the the mix of metal and leather is really really unique to me. Like yeah. oh sorry, the wood is also very cool. Don't get me wrong, and I appreciate the craftsmanship that went into it. But like I haven't seen something like this. Yeah. It's awesome. The first time I heard about this company was there's a lot of work. Surprisingly, these. yeah, they had a booth at DesignerCon like three years ago. I've heard of that show. They do it and again. What is it? Vendor forms are up now. DesignerCon.com. What? Um, but they're great, and you know they've been coming back every year, and every year their prices have been going up because more and more people want them, and it's they, like tail you know, blade. supply and demand. No, it's not a tail. Oh come on. <laughs> See, it's fun for the whole family. <laughs> so Blamo Toys. And the stitching is really nice. It's very like, well we're done. We're talking about the quality of how it's made. Yeah. It's, it's just... cool. Thanks for bringing these, Ben. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I picked... This is a very nice gift for you to give us all. Yeah, that was so nice of <laughs> You're... you. What? Those... I <laughs> kind of... Oh, sorry. They... But I... I'll switch you. No, okay. it was really cool of you to give... And you brought yeah. three. I didn't even... Yeah, we didn't even know yeah, there was a beer. Yeah, that was nice. I You're a good man, Ben. Thanks, Ben. For my but no, that was very cool of you. Oh, is this metal? You didn't have to do that. That was really nice. That was a good good sort of thought. Right. Thanks, Ben. This is so light. You're welcome. (laughs) I think. All right, on to the next thing. So we've talked about pop vinyl before. Pop vinyl is the vinyl toys that Funko, which is. A pretty mainstream company and a company that's known for bobbleheads. Oh, uh, they have started releasing their own vinyl toys and they call it pop vinyl. Oh, Can we just um, talk one more second about this? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how do you even get this chunk of wood to start this thing? Like, we were just talking about this the other night. It's gotta and, like, be, you know, carving something out of one piece. This big it's around. It's a substantial piece of it's wood. A big, that this is a big piece yeah. of wood. Well, that's why they, that's why it costs money. A lot of people are like it's just wood. Why would it cost so much? It really does take time to well, make these that. aren't glued together pieces of stuff. This is one solid chunk of wood carved into this. If you like your carver, you're like, <laughs> you cut off that arm, yeah. that dude's <laughs> done. Piece. Start over. Guy. This is a lot of work. Yeah. For a hundred bucks? I don't even understand how it's you great. do that or how you it's start great. with that. A hundred bucks is not worth it. You're buying a piece of art. You're not buying a toy. Yeah, it's gotta I mean, be great. How much you'd how have many to pay hours? for that if you sculpted that? Yeah, like hand? I couldn't make this for a hundred dollars. You'd be making like a buck an hour. They yeah. don't good. <laughs> yeah, they, they they do a great job and it's totally worth it. So go out and buy one before they realize that they should be charging like four or five hundred dollars each. Yeah, this should be a lot more than a hundred dollars. I want this one. This is the best one. I know, right? All right, now right we there. can move on to those <laughs> things that are yes, not a hundred dollars. On my knee. Here you go, George. Going to work like- Okay, I'm done with this. I want it off my knee. No. So, Next. Pop Vinyl teamed up with David Horvath and Ugly Dolls. Cute. And they released a Pop Ugly Doll. And Sun Min Kim. Sun and Sun Sun Min Sun. Sun Min Kim. Sun Min Kim. And uh, this is Series One. There's five of them. There's Ice Bat, Ox, Wage, Ninja Bat, Shogun, and Little Babo. I, as you know, am a big fan of these pop vinyls. I think that they've done a really good job translating characters Mm -hmm. into a similar style. And all sorts of characters. I mean, we've had Batman. We've had The Simpsons. We've had... I mean, there's a ton of these out there. There's Disney characters at the Disney store. They're widely available, and they're like 10 bucks each, right? Yeah, they range... Some retailers sell them for like $11.99, $12.99, but... But the, the one when you find them in the store, they're ten bucks. Yeah. Like Toys R Us and, and Target. Have you mm-hmm. seen any of these Funko things? Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> do you have any? The, uh, I do not have any of them. I, I love Ice it. Bat. Do you have any uh, David Horvath? Any of the? I used to collect the Enjoy Critter Box, that. the large Critter Box vinyls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I love those. And Wage is my favorite of all. Is he your guy? Yeah, he's my guy. He's your guy. So here's speaking of Wage. Here's something a little bit that. A lot of people don't know, but the uh, guys that get the wholesale do. There is actually a glow-in-the-dark <gasps> wage available. Uh, they're rare. They usually come like one per like master carton or something. So if you find a glow-in-the-dark wage, Snap get it, it because they're hard to find. These are cute, simple little things. They're not bobbleheads or anything. They're just 
solid little figures with vinyl heads, squishy vinyl head. Yes. It was nice of you to bring Derek's favorite, too, for him. Yes, oh, thank you. Anytime. You're a generous guy. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, what's this one over here? Ninja Bat. Yay, because he's black. That's racist, Ben. I didn't, uh, but it was, I, what did I, <laughs> I'm saying things tonight that I don't remember saying. <laughs> do these what? look like the characters? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Like, you look at this, there would be no denying, that's Ice Bat. Babo. Babo. I think Babo is my favorite. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't know. Babo. Mm. Does Wage look like Wage? Yeah. Look- the heads are fortunately larger than they normally right. would be. Right. But yeah, they Can't look see. like each of the characters. Cool. That's cool. Then there you go. And I think they look great as a set. Oh, they look great. This is these, right? <laughs> almost all of these uh, pop figures I like as sets. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you're getting the DC guys, you get, like, two or three of them, you know, right. yeah. put them together, get all these guys together. A wide range of The them. Simpsons one looks so good together. So cute. Ugh. Oh, I'm going to give you that one. Yay! <gasps> Babo! Funko is just raking in the licenses, aren't they? They really are, but I like what they're doing, too, because they're making stuff like this more widely available. It's true. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, a lot of companies try things like this. I mean, DC Direct has had tried things like Blamoids and... Uh, you know, smaller designer type toys, mm-hmm. as well as other companies, and they, you might find them in a specialty comic book shop or something like that. But they don't usually reach Target and Toys R Us and Walmart. And oh, they're friends. Will this will this be available at like Target and stuff like that? Uh, yes. Yeah, these are going to be available everywhere. Um, I know that Three D Retro is going to carry them. Comic book oh, stores are going to carry. Three D Retro. I hear you've improved your shipping. We have. Oh yes. Oh yes, we have. I hear you've also improved your email. Oh yes, oh yes, we have. So people should be. I've heard a lot of complaints about both of those things. Yeah, that's why we fixed them. (laughs) Good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Futureretro.com. Trying to get those customers back. Uh, Maybe one day. When we open up our retail store. There's that Eminem song. You've got to prove yourself. Maybe you can earn their trust back with some coupons later. Definitely. (laughs) I'm working for you guys. Your side. She is. So these are fun. These are a lot of fun. They're Funko. Yeah. Uh, hey What do you guys think about the pop doll, pop vinyl dolls? Come to the forum at toybreak.com and tell us. Do what Babo says. Bat. Ice bat. Do you have anything else? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> That's about it. That's Good all. Good planning, I've got. Ben. Why? Thank you. <laughs> Good job. I thought the toy guys might have some extra toys. That was just the right amount of stuff. No, that's perfect. Oh, good. That was a bunch of stuff. Plus, yeah. we like we do have a contest amount. to start that we could start right at the oh, end. Oh, contest! Let's do that. Um, it's just a quickie contest, actually. Um, <laughs> oh, I win. Best way to end the day with a quickie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. so I like it. Do you need to take a shower, Derek? No, I'm good. Mezco uh-huh. <laughs> supplied us with their. Um, catalog from Toy Fair. Awesome. Oh, very so cool. So this is something they hand out at Toy Fair. I'm flipping through this way, but that doesn't help you. Um, there's shows all their upcoming products for the year. Anything cool? A little, a little bit, right? Yeah, there's there. some. Hey, hey guys, I want to. Oh, what's what's going on there? Page. Let's uh, oh, show the pages. It. Let me just show you this real quick, actually, while yeah, we're looking. The cat. There's, there's <laughs> some <laughs> some Batman spoilers in there because it shows some things that are coming out. Oh. Um, but look at this. Look at those awesome... Did you mean spoiler like Bane is in the movie? Wow. Look at the cool style. Mega this. deluxe That's vinyl. Picture in black Virginia is cool. Mega uh, deluxe vinyl. Did you see the monster Lego? That's cool awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want your very own Mezco Toys catalog. I do. Oh, look. Now I have one. Um, I believe we'll give you that That's one. Convenient. All you got to do is go to the forum and leave a comment under this episode's... 208. 208 under this episode. Just say you want the Mezco stuff. Okay. Um, we have, not only do we have the catalog, we have... But wait, there's more. A Batman Mezitz keychain. An ugly doll keychain. Or not an ugly doll. <laughs> a, uh, what is it? Living dead doll keychain? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. A Frankenstein Universal Monster keychain. Nice. Cool. A SpongeBob keychain. Oh. And a Domo keychain. Domo! I need help. Domo? So, I don't know. Pick which one you want. Tell me. 
Maybe like we'll say the first one to name each one that wants each one. First come, first serve. Yeah. In the thread for episode two hundred eight. In the thread for two hundred eight. L- limit one per person. Yeah. Don't. You can't be like I want this one, this one, this spread one, this one. Spread it like, around. Spread it around. And if you're international. I could ship these cheap enough. I'll, Aww. We'll pay shipping. Ah, I see. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. Thanks, Thanks Mezco. George. Thanks, Mezco. Thanks, Mezco. For You're the best. So, oh, things are falling over. It's okay. You're the best. I, my lap conveniently got them. These are really cool, and you can't get them because they were at Toy Fair. Yeah, these were things that they handed out to people at Toy Fair, so it's... I'm sure they'll sell these keychains and stuff Probably. later, I would imagine. They're, like, But flexible. you can't get this catalog anywhere else. Yeah, and you need more paper in your house. So. People like these catalogs. Those are collector's items for years to come. I know. I know people collect Just think if you think back if you had one of the Star Wars catalogs from Hasbro back in the I would Kenner have from it. 1977's yeah. Toy Fair. Because I don't collect oh, stuff. Star Wars figures. Someone might have. Look maybe one day you'll be my like, favorites. oh, if I had that monster right there. catalog. Ooh. There's a Mars Attacks thing coming out. You'll get to see it. It's in that catalog. That's awesome. <laughs> Way to spoil it for everybody. Mm-hmm. Earthworm Jim is in that catalog. So Does bef- everybody remember that? Yes. yes. Thundercats in that catalog. Now, before we get to events, I actually want to talk about an event that we talked about previously. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something called Course for the Force. I've heard of that. Yes, it's happening, you know, right before Comic-Con. Have you heard of that? I have not heard of that. Wait, should we tell Derek what it is? Go ahead. Okay, so they're Chris Hardwick, Nerdist, Machinima, and Comic-Con... Got together and MTV, I think, or Lucas. Hey, Lucas, Lucas, yeah. Lucas uh, got together and they're doing a charity. I'm gonna call it a run. I think you could walk or do any other sashing, hmm. whatever you like. Uh, and it's basically like a, you know, when they pass the baton, the the oh. or not the baton, the it's torch. It's like the torch run at the, the torch Olympics. Okay. They're passing a lightsaber from Santa okay. Monica to San Diego, four days before Comic Con. Quarter mile at a time. Ends preview night of Comic Con. Like you, right. everybody is literally running to Comic Con. So what it is is there's going to be a bunch of celebrities and people involved, but they also had all of the money goes to Make a Wish Foundation, so it's good all cause. for a good cause. Mm-hmm. And so, can we say how much it was? Sure. Why why not? People so for five hundred dollars, mm-hmm. you could sign up to buy a half or a quarter, quarter mile, mile that you would then go run it, and you get a goodie bag. Mm-hmm. And I believe there's going to be like a limited edition lightsaber, yeah. like a keepsake kind of thing, and. Something. Some other Probably a t-shirt goodies. or something. Something's yeah. in there. Something. We'll tell... Maybe we'll be able to tell you after Comic-Con. Uh, well, that's what I'd like to talk about. I have signed up to run a quarter mile of course for the Force. Damn, I wish I could watch that. Are you running in a Stormtrooper outfit? I, I'm not sure what I'm running in You yet. have to run in something. You know you what? Why don't, why don't we have the viewers recommend? <gasps> you have to dress up. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You Should I wear a toy break? break? what he has to dress up as. Toy break t-shirt? No, no, you have to dress up. Like a big to... toy break TV? Okay, <laughs> here, wait. That Everybody... might be good. Yeah, sure, I'll build it. Everybody give us suggestions for, you know, put them on the forum, and then we'll make like a voting thing. Would you, would you promise to wear whatever ends up being voted on? Oh, gee, as long as it's not like a, a speedo we'll or something like that. We'll be fair and not like make that. it like nude. No, it, ha- no, it has like, to be something nerdy and, nerdy, yeah. and nerdy and fun. Nerdy and fun. Nerdy and fun. I do have a Stormtrooper. Like, I have a deluxe Stormtrooper outfit. I know. Um, <laughs> but remember, what are you guys... He also has a Marty McFly outfit, I do. If, that, if anybody cares. So, when I you're making your selections, please remember that I have to walk or run in this whatever you're going to make me run. It's only a quarter mile. Yeah, but still... What if we put, like, snacks throughout the quarter mile? I'll do it. I'll do it. I may so, just finish the entire quarter mile. And you know, like, Chris Hardwick is blogging throughout this whole thing. Or not blogging, but he'll podcast throughout the whole There's thing. There's, like, a car following yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah. They'll be... So, do you know when you start out of those three days? I don't. I don't know yet. And that's that's kind of, and like... you don't know where you're going to be. I, I'm just hoping that it's, like... Santa Monica. In Santa Monica or close to Santa Monica. Like, it, like between Santa Monica and, like... You'll Orange be down County. by Camp Pendleton or something. <laughs> no, don't do that to me. That's okay. We have cars. You can get there and, and back. If I were not going to be, be setting up those days, like at Comic Con, I would be there watching you do it. I want to be. I would love to have been. I'm going to be you. there as long as it's not the day before Comic Con right. or the day of Comic Con. Yes. So look for me doing that. So we'll have Man, more I details. Film that. We got to film that somehow. Somebody's got to <laughs> film that. More. Why don't we do it? <laughs> 
I wonder we're if we're gonna be setting up Comic Con. Send in your ideas. Maybe you could hold Why? like a, a flip or something as you're running and be like, "Hi, I'm Ben." From I have an iPhone. From, I can do that. I don't that. know why. I can oh, do yeah. that on my iPhone. I, I have a Ustream on my iPhone. He could live run on Ustream. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got to hook up the Toy Break Ustream. You're going to live run. You're live gonna be run. podcasting through Nerdist and on Toy Break. Remember, I got to have... I, I still got to hold the lightsaber in one hand. Just pull right. both hands out. Let's That's true. Pull one hand out and we'll this mount the, We'll mount the phone to the lightsaber. Oh, big harness. Mount, mount the phone. We'll mount it to, the hel- to a helmet. What kind of a helmet are you wearing? I don't we'll know. I don't know yet. We don't know yet. Oh, make More it details cool. to come. You guys give us some help and some suggestions. What there you should go. Ben be? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the naked cowboy? No, I'm not doing it. No. <laughs> oh, God, no. He totally hugged me. <laughs> Although I hear there's a <laughs> sale on... Fairy ass or something like that. Excuse me? Yeah, ass hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> From the last episode. Ass hair? Remember? <laughs> oh, butt hair. Butt, butt hair, hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's end the show. It's going on way too long. Events, All right. happenings, stuff to do. <laughs> Uh, WonderCon is done, right? We're there. It happened. WonderCon was awesome. Yeah. It was great. What are you talking about? That was already happened. How was Bricks by the Bay? So, it was amazing. You great. guys should have been there on Sunday for the public day. It was crazy packed. All right. So, Bellicosity. Come see dozens of custom bellicose bunnies at Toy Art Gallery in Los Angeles, California. March 23rd is the opening night. We will all be there. Derek, you coming? Yes. Awesome. Through April there. 6th, uh, it's ToyArtGallery.com. And also Star Wars Days. I don't know why I said it like that. Bring the kids for Star Wars themed weekend at Legoland in Carlsbad, California. March 31st and April 1st, two days of Star Wars themed fun. Legoland.com. You can get all the, the prices and info and detail. It's cool. There's people dressed up. There's mocks. There's costumes. There's contests. There's lots of stuff for the kids to do. There's a droid hunt. Ooh. Mm, that will be the droid you're looking for. <laughs> it never gets old. Don't forget, you can save money with Toy Break. We have coupons mm-hmm. like the Butthole Bear. Butthole Bear. I said it right this time. You can get all the details uh, in the show notes at toybreak, toybreak.com. And you can get links to everything we've talked about in the show notes. You can also watch past episodes, download episodes, join the contests, and the fun, fun, fun discussions in the forum. Tell us what you think about. Art toys and blammo and pop culture stuff. What should Ben wear oh, in Course for the Force? Yeah. I think I need to make a separate account and start posting things you should wear. Oh my god. <laughs> you asked for it. I know, I did. It's sad. But I also love that you were donating to a worthy cause. I am. I feel good about that. The Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, call and leave us a voicemail message at 818-AM-I-GOOD. We have a few of those we know we have to get to and we will be getting to them directly you can email us at info at toybreak.com you can keep up with us on facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak you can watch our briefs and full episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak you can follow us on twitter i'm at alien gaspar at george gaspar not on twitter and at 3d retro at Derek gaspar <laughs> uh Derek, how was your first show how was your first time on the couch it was fun i enjoyed it did you butt to sleep yet not yet mm. your butt hair Butt hair. <laughs> Special on butt hair. Butt hair bear. <laughs> so what we like to do is, especially the first time, is we like to have our guests take us out. Oh God, what's going on now? Just, just say that thing. And now, here's your toy break. With all the no. oil of in, Olivier. In, ooh, in the deepest register it's ever been said. <laughs> what, oil of Olivier? What? <laughs> right, Why is it people... It's a, it's a Harry okay. Potter thing. I know. Mm. No. <laughs> mm, yeah. All right, let's do it. Wait, do it again, but do it with sexy it black man voice. So normal voice. <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying, sexy black man voice, is my normal voice? Mm. And now, here's your toy break. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good.